Exploring Mars has always been a daunting task, but one of the biggest challenges remains how to power our equipment on the red planet. Mars' atmosphere, which is 95% carbon dioxide, and the planet's severe temperature swings create a harsh environment for conventional power sources. But what if we could use the very air on Mars to generate energy? This is exactly what a team of researchers from the University of Science and Technology of China has achieved with their groundbreaking Mars battery. This innovative device doesn't just store energy, it produces it using the Martian atmosphere as fuel. In today's video, we'll uncover how this game-changing technology works, its unique advantages, and what it means for future Mars missions. The Mars battery developed by the Chinese research team is unlike any other battery used in space exploration. It operates much like a fuel cell, using gases like carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere as its fuel, instead of relying on stored chemical energy like traditional batteries. This innovative approach is what sets it apart. The core technology involves an electrochemical reaction that leverages the abundant carbon dioxide on Mars to generate power. During discharge, the battery decomposes lithium carbonate, releasing energy. When carbon dioxide interacts with the battery, lithium carbonate reforms, creating a continuous loop of energy generation. One of the standout features of this battery is its energy density, which reaches up to 373.9 watt-hour per kilogram. It can deliver a sustained power output for up to 1,375 hours or nearly two Martian months before requiring a recharge. What makes this even more impressive is its lightweight design, which is crucial for Mars missions where every gram of weight matters. By using the Martian atmosphere as a fuel source, this battery reduces the need for carrying heavy power reserves from Earth, significantly lightening the load for future space missions. The battery's design also incorporates advanced materials and a compact structure to maximize its efficiency. Researchers developed integrated electrodes and a folded cell configuration to increase the reaction surface area, enhancing the conversion rate of carbon dioxide into usable energy. This structural innovation ensures that the battery can generate more power per unit weight, making it not only efficient but also practical for various Mars applications. Furthermore, the Mars battery's ability to recharge using external energy sources like solar or nuclear power gives it an additional layer of flexibility. These features make it a versatile power source that can adapt to the unique and harsh environment of Mars. Its robust design means it could be used not just for rovers, but also for potential human outposts and autonomous systems. The development of this Mars battery could be the key to unlocking sustainable and cost-effective Mars missions. Traditional power systems like nuclear batteries are not only heavy but also complex to manufacture and transport. Solar panels, on the other hand, have proven unreliable due to Mars' frequent dust storms that block sunlight and reduce energy output. The new Mars battery addresses these issues by using the planet's own atmosphere as an energy source. By eliminating the need to transport large quantities of fuel from Earth, the battery significantly lowers the overall weight and cost of Mars missions. This is a game-changer for long-duration missions and the potential establishment of permanent human outposts. Using locally available resources means that explorers could run equipment for extended periods without relying on costly and infrequent resupply missions. This technology essentially turns Mars' natural environment into a sustainable power source. What makes this battery even more practical is its ability to handle the extreme Martian environment. Mars has a harsh atmosphere with substantial temperature fluctuations and low atmospheric pressure. The new battery's resilience to these conditions makes it ideal for powering various equipment, from scientific instruments and rovers to future human habitats. Additionally, the battery's efficiency doesn't wane under low temperatures, enabling it to operate reliably even during the freezing Martian nights. The battery can also be recharged using other energy sources like solar or nuclear power, providing a flexible and complementary energy system. This flexibility ensures that critical systems can continue operating even when one energy source becomes unavailable. For instance, during a massive Martian dust storm, when solar panels are ineffective, the battery can still provide power by drawing energy from carbon dioxide in the atmosphere.
The current version of the Mars battery is a remarkable proof of concept, but researchers are already looking ahead to future improvements. One of their primary goals is to develop a solid-state version of the battery, which could operate even more efficiently in Mars' low-pressure environment. Solid-state batteries have a higher energy density and are more stable at extreme temperatures, making them ideal for use in space. Another exciting avenue of research involves enhancing the battery's electrodes to increase its reaction efficiency. By integrating new materials and refining the electrode design, the researchers hope to boost the battery's overall power output and operational lifespan. These advancements would make the Mars battery suitable for a broader range of applications beyond rovers and scientific instruments. It could potentially power habitats, autonomous systems, and life support equipment, making it an essential technology for establishing a permanent human presence on Mars. The team is also exploring how to integrate the Mars battery into multi-energy systems that combine various power sources, such as solar, nuclear, and chemical energy. This multi-energy approach would create a robust and redundant power grid capable of supporting large-scale operations on Mars. For example, during the Martian night or during periods of high energy demand, the Mars battery could work in tandem with nuclear generators or solar arrays to ensure a consistent energy supply. The ultimate vision is to create a self-sustaining energy system that leverages Mars' natural resources to support human life and exploration on the planet. Additionally, the researchers are investigating how this technology could be adapted for use on other planetary bodies, such as the Moon or Europa, which have different atmospheric compositions and environmental challenges. By tweaking the battery's chemical composition and structural design, it may be possible to develop similar batteries tailored to each unique extraterrestrial environment. These adaptable systems could eventually power not just Mars missions, but a wide range of deep space exploration endeavors, from lunar bases to missions in the asteroid belt. These ongoing developments demonstrate that the Mars battery isn't just a one-off innovation, it's part of a larger strategy to create sustainable and scalable energy solutions for space exploration. As researchers continue to refine the technology, it could pave the way for new mission architectures that are more resilient, cost-effective, and capable of supporting long-term human exploration of Mars and beyond. In this video, we have learned about the groundbreaking Mars battery technology developed by the University of Science and Technology of China. This innovative battery uses Mars' atmosphere as a fuel source, offering a lightweight and sustainable power solution for long-term space missions. By addressing the challenges of energy generation and storage on Mars, this battery could be a key enabler for future exploration and human colonization of the Red Planet. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear it from you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.